This is a demo of reading messages in Slack with VoiceOver. For this demo, I'm using macOS Sonoma. In most cases, when you switch to a channel or direct message, focus will move to the message composer so you can begin typing a message. Accounts Burlington, channel, Acme incorporated three new items, Slack, window, message to accounts Burlington, edit text, new line, insertion at beginning of text, has keyboard focus. The fastest way to switch to a channel is by pressing Command K. Focus will land in an input and you can type the name of the channel you want to switch to. Jump to a conversation, dialog, jump to a conversation, list box pop up, menu pop up, combo box. The input supports a list of suggestions. I want to switch to the accounting marketing channel. I'll type account and then use the down arrow to find the accounting marketing channel in the suggestions list. Oh, yeah, T. Ac accounts Burlington. Selected. One of eight. Completion selected. Ac accounting marketing. Selected. Two of eight. Completion selected. To switch to the accounting marketing channel, I'll press enter. Message to accounting marketing. Edit text. New line. Insertion at the beginning of text. Composer. Group. In this next section, I'll cover reading messages chronologically and in reverse chronological order. If you want to read chronologically, start with focus in the message composer. Message to accounting marketing. Edit text. New line. Insertion at the beginning of text. Press command J and focus will move to the first unread message in the list. List accounting marketing. Channel. Two unread messages. Message from July 15th, 2022. Slack with a 2. 0, 02 AM. Reminder wave emoji. Please submit outstanding invoices for the quarter by Yodi. Group. Press the down arrow key and focus will move to the next unread message. Yohana 2. 0, 02 AM. Hi marketing folks. Please check out the new vendor onboarding form to be completed by new vendors going forward. I'll pin this to the channel for future reference to replies. Group. You'll know when you're all caught up when the next down arrow key press moves focus back to the message composer. Johanna 2, 02, AM with file attachment, new supplier underscore summary docs, group. Johanna 2, 02, AM, I need approval on an invoice over $50,000. Who can help with this request to replies? Group. Message to accounting marketing, edit text, new line, insertion at the beginning of text, composer, group. You can also read your messages in reverse chronological order. To do that, start with focus on the message composer. Message to accounting marketing, edit text, new line, insertion at the beginning of text. Press the up arrow key, focus will move to the most recent message in the channel. List accounting marketing, channel, two unread messages, Johanna 2, 02, AM, I need approval on an invoice over $50,000. Who can help with this request to replies? Group. You'll know when you've reached the last unread message because the next up arrow key press will move focus to the unread separator and Slack will announce that you're the start of unread messages. Johanna 2, 02, AM with file attachment, new supplier underscore summary docs, group. Johanna 2, 02, AM, hi marketing folks, please check out the new vendor onboarding form to be completed by new vendors going forward. I'll pin this to the channel for future reference to replies, group. Slack with a 2, 02, AM, reminder wave emoji, please submit outstanding invoices for the quarter by Yodi, group. Start of unread messages, separator. You can also navigate messages in the list using the page up, page down, home, and end keys. And is especially useful because it will move focus to the most recent message in the list, allowing you to quickly read the latest messages that have arrived. And it makes it easy to write a new message. For example, I still have my focus on the unread separator from the last example. I can press N to move to the most recent message. John at 2, 02, AM. I need approval on an invoice over $50,000. Who can help with this request to replies? Group. And now I can press down to move focus to the composer. Message to accounting marketing. Edit text. New line. Insertion at the beginning of text. Composer. Group. Sometimes you may want to or need to read messages using the voiceover cursor. For example, you may want to read longer messages line by line. The first unread message in this channel is somewhat longer. I'm going to press Command J to jump to it. List accounts ABC Corporation. Channel. Four unread messages. Message from July 15, 2022. Steward at 1, 49 a.m. Project kickoff stars emoji. Please review the goals and give the white check mark emoji to acknowledge. This will be our biggest and most time sensitive deal with Tupelo. Account goals bullet identify areas for expansion bullet support growing need for business transformation bullet support on tier 1 slot 5 reactions. Group. To read this message line by line, I'll simply press the voiceover keys plus the right arrow to move the voiceover cursor through the message. Stuart, button, link, July 15th, 2022 at 1 hour, 49 minutes, and 30 seconds a.m. Project kickoff. Stars emoji, image. Please review the goals and give a white check mark emoji, image, to acknowledge. This will be our biggest and most time sensitive deal with Tupelo. Account goals. Will it identify areas for expansion? Will it support growing need for business transformation? Will it support on tier 1 slaw? Reactions, group. Five reactions. React with white check mark emoji, toggle button. Add reaction, button, group. End up. Reactions, group. Message actions, group. Shortcuts available. R. Reply and thread, button. Forward message, button. Save for later. Toggle button. More actions. Menu pop-up button. End up. Message actions. Group. When I'm done reading the message using the voiceover cursor, at any point I can press the up or down arrow key to move focus to the previous or next message. In this case, I'm going to press down to move focus to the next message. List accounts ABC Corporation. Channel. Four unread messages. Rocket 1. 49. AM. Here is the first pass of the upsell proposal. Please review and send over to the ABC team when ready. Is there a primary contact that I should list down for the quote? Group. By default, Slack is going to automatically announce new messages to you as they arrive in the current channel. For example, I'm back in the accounting marketing channel. If someone is composing a message, I'll be notified when they're typing. Jennifer is typing. I'll also hear the new message when it's delivered. Jennifer, reminder, our weekly team sync starts in an hour. I'll start the huddle five minutes beforehand. This makes Slack feel more conversational, and in an active conversation, it saves you from needing to repeatedly move focus between the list of messages and the message composer. There is also a keyboard shortcut to replay recent messages. You can hold down Command and Option and press the number of recent messages you would like to hear. The maximum is 10. For example, if I wanted to have the last two messages read back to me, I could hold down Command Option and press 2.
Message from July 15, 2022. John at 2, 0, 02 a.m. I need approval on an invoice over $50,000. Who can help with this request to replies? Message from today, Jennifer at 3, 16 p.m. Reminder, our weekly team sync starts in an hour. I'll start the huddle five minutes beforehand. If you wish, you can disable the automatic announcement of new messages. To do so, hold down Command and press comma to open Preferences. Set it. Preferences. Dialog with three items. Use the arrow keys to navigate to the Accessibility tab. Preferences. Dialog with four items. Notifications. Selected. Tab. One of twelve. Navigation. Selected. Tab. Two of twelve. Home. Selected. Tab. Three of twelve. Themes. Selected. Tab. Four of twelve. Messages and media. Selected. Tab. Five of twelve. Language and region. Selected. Tab. Six of twelve. Accessibility. Selected. Tab. Seven of twelve. Use tab to navigate to the Announce Incoming Messages from the Conversation checkbox in the Conversation Message Announcements grouping. 100% default. Announce incoming messages from the Conversation. Check. Checkbox. Conversation Message Announcements. Group. Press the spacebar to uncheck the checkbox. Uncheck. Announce incoming messages from the Conversation. Checkbox. And that concludes this demo of how to read messages in Slack using VoiceOver.